Hey, hey, I am at the Botanical Garden getting ready to get a shoot started. I want to show you something cool that uh, I have discovered. Let me turn my brightness up because I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I guess it is what it is. My phone getting ready to die. So I started using, um, I started putting up them little, uh, them little wall things and, and inside my van i don't know if you ever heard of it before but i took the whole um ryobi link system they got a couple other toolboxes that i'm gonna use for other things but the whole ryobi link system is what i started using for all all, all my photography gear and the things i got in my van for the wall let me move this out of the way uh like these crates like stack right up on the wall so that way I can just have stuff to just kind of you know put up on the wall I'm I'm starting to get rid of bags because bags are just a little annoying I can't really keep them organized that well and uh, this crate is what I do keep my camera bag in if I can get this boy off with one hand hold on uh, yeah this crate is what I keep my camera bag in for all of my lenses my client is like 15 minutes away so i got some time to show you guys what is in my van i mean what is in my box and in my bag of course what's in my bag is all my pentax 645 medium format lenses that i speed boost onto my canon so i can get bigger than full frame out of out of my canon that creates a really unique look that most people just aren't used to seeing it's like when you see that really big, big perspective, it's like, man, that kind of looks cool. Uh, and that's just my computer I use to just kind of look at uh, sample shots when we get certain things done. But all my lenses, my 120 macro, my 80 to 160, uh, my 200, uh, my 35, my 300, this is the one I use for wildlife photography then my 55 this is one of my most beautiful lenses here um and then i got uh back here my 150 this is actually one of my favorite portrait lenses i put that uh, i put that real tree tape on there also got it on my phone and i don't know if you've seen it i put that real tree tape on the back of my tablet too and then what other lens i have um oh yeah and uh, my 45 to 85 is right there. Speed booster to get a negative crop factor. So instead of having full frame, I get bigger than full frame with this. And I just use it on a Canon. So that way I don't have to buy a $10,000 camera to get a $10,000 look. And, and then in my box, my box most photographers like to do a what's in my bag video so i'm just doing a what's in my box um i kind of i moved away from doing alien b lights i kind of got sick of carrying that power pack around and so i sold my alien b lights and uh these lights are the best freaking lights in the world for out outdoor photography but i pretty much use them for everything these are my godox uh my godox 8200s the 200 watt seconds um i got different flash heads that i put on there that's one of my most beautiful flash heads then i got like the standard speed light for nail heads and that's a for nail head just with an adapter on it to uh, hook onto my projector that's the trigger to uh, trigger oh crap my screen switched on me um, yeah that's the trigger to trigger my lights from my camera and so if i ever need uh, the reason why i went with these is because 200 watt seconds is usually enough so this is a total of 600 watt seconds there but if i ever need more than 200 watt seconds i can literally combine both lights and attach them onto there and have a 400 watt light whoop i dropped it and then uh these right here are my bulbs that i usually put on my lights uh my bare bulbs like the regular um flash like the regular uh studio strobe bulbs i just take them out 
out of this little attachment to attach them on the 8200 and I just pull these bulbs out and attach these bulbs right on the front of the um, of the uh, man what do you call this thing of the thing that I really use to get you know uh, combine two lights together to have 400 watts if I ever had to overpower sunlight I can overpower sunlight but most of the time I really don't need to um, I don't use high-speed sync um, not right now because I don't have a Canon flash trigger this is my old Pentax flash trigger that I have for my Pentax camera um, yeah that's what I said I dropped it right here this thing that dropped nothing important but let's just go ahead and put them dropping just go ahead and put them speed light uh, heads back in and this is just a regular speed light uh, so these are 76 watt seconds like most speed lights are 76 watt seconds and then these are 200 watt seconds so I can pretty much get um, like three times the power of a speed light out of something the size of a speed light and with these they had their own battery so I don't have to carry a power pack around so if we see the size of a speed light they're pretty much the same size well except the fact that I don't have a head on there yet um, they're pretty much the same size for like three times the power it's my seven inch reflector that I use to attach onto my um, my uh, uh, my combination head I'm trying to use it in a way that other people can understand it or I just attach it onto this Bowens mount bracket right here if I ever just want to use one light most of the time one light is enough or sometimes I might want to use all three lights in some way but honestly I only have two sturdy light stands so I'm you know I'm a two light person and then these right here is what I call my insurance these are my insurance so these literally are extension heads so that I can attach the light uh, to one end of the cord and then the other end of the cord I attach it onto the back of this thing or I attach it onto a flash head so if I ever had my light on a light stand and it and it fell over I don't actually break my whole light I just you know I potentially just break a soft box or a flash head my portable folding beauty dish one of my favorite lighting modifiers are beauty dishes I've never been a fan of soft boxes but if I ever wanted to turn this into a soft box it does have this this big diffuser that go on the front um then what else I got in here my snoot I love snoots um, this is actually my first year using snoots so I'm still trying to learn my way around snoots um, and then uh, this guy right here which I was actually gonna do a review on this is my projector snoot so I can literally project an image like that onto a wall and then I can just use my snoot to then relight my subject and I can have images like projected onto a wall I got skies planets lakes wood Halloween decorations Christmas decorations all kind of crazy stuff in that package I literally have like 60 different slides that I can put inside this thing and I just attach my uh, light to this snoot right there it's got a lens to be able to focus the image either blurry or sharp um, and then what else we got here oh yeah these are just my grids that I put on my 7 inch reflector so that way if I ever wanted a tighter light beam this is a 10 degree grid so that's like a 10 degree light beam 30 degree grid six no 50 degree grid and the actual reflector itself is like a 70 degree and then these are just my gels that go on to my four and a half inch reflectors if I ever wanted extreme brightness you know like these little suckers right here are bright as as is I don't I don't know what man so um, these little things right here are cool but even though I just really prefer to get a bigger modifier and use a bigger spread of light because a bigger light is usually a lot more softer but then after I'm done or when I'm just 
you know, like moving around the park, getting ready to switch spots, I uh, throw it all back in, stack it up, and roll that sucker on out, man. So that way I don't got to carry bags on my shoulder and stuff like that. And then my surface, I usually bring this to a shoot so that way we can uh, review images on the spot. Um, then what else I got in this joint? Oh, yeah, my two light stands. Uh, those are light stands I got from Best Buy when I worked there. I got these with my employee discount, and I've been had them ever since 2016, and they have been really good, but I really want better light stands. I want C stands instead of light stands, and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and down there is my green screen. I don't use green screen, but I, you know, I usually just put that green screen down there just for extra protection. Um, so that way, like, my stuff isn't, like, hitting the hard surface of it when I'm rolling it around. Or if I ever need a green screen, I just pull it on out, you know. But I hardly ever use green screen for my work. Unless I'm doing, like, video or something like that. But other than that, man, I am getting ready to prepare for this shoot. I'm just waiting on her to get here. And, yeah. And I also got to show y'all the pictures I did at the train station. The pictures I did at the old train station are sweet, man. So I'm going a, I'm to a share those with y'all after, after this shoot. But if any anybody want to shoot while I'm already here at Botanical Garden, please let me know, man. Please let me know while I'm already here. Um, we can do some last-minute hookups or whatever you want, man. So just let me know. And don't forget to check me out at Lee Corey Photography. That is my name backwards because they already had a Corey Lee photography. So I just said, what the heck, and just did it backwards. So, <laughs> so other than that, man, I'm getting ready to get all set up. Um, so that way we can go ahead and get prepared for this shoot. And I'm just kind of showing you my new outdoor lighting system for 2023. And I also use this same lighting system for macro photography as well, which I usually just use my round head for it or uh, one of my four and a half inch reflectors. But I'm actually about to start using my seven inch and have a bigger, uh, better looking light when I do bug and, and animals and things like that. So I pray that you all have a blessed day in Jesus name. Amen. And thanks for watching and listening to me ramble about my crazy stuff going on here. <laughs>